Oh, we got the team of Battlestar Galactica. What is that music? That's the theme from, from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> and like Team New Era and any other faction that happens to look like. So it looks like he's gonna try out, much like Mr. Nick Paradise is trying out partners, he's gonna try out partners in Doyle Day and, and Joe Gacy. What if somehow Nick Paradise stumbled himself onto Battlestar Galactica? Would that be a perfect fit in there? That would be, uh, that's very possible. It could be possible that he would fit in there. Nick Paradise was showing me a little something out here earlier. But right now we got Mr. Corey Castle locking up with Mr. Doyle Day. Lock of horns right there, lock of horns. They got right on that headlock. He's essentially in tech. Cool. Whip him up. What, what are we going to see here? That is shoulder tackle. That was a pretty big shoulder tackle for him. I'd be scared. I'd be scared. He got him right in another headlock. Showing him the fundamentals. He said, you're here about business. I'm here about business too. I'm going to go just that easy. Well, he, he saw Corey Castle putting all his weight down on that headlock. But Doyle Day whips him off, shoves him off. Boom! Big shoulder tackle from Corey Castle. Clap now, he says. Clap now, fans. That's what he said. But Doyle Day, ooh! Big forearms from Doyle Day. Cutting off Mr. Corey Castle. Putting him back to the corner. Whips him in. Castle up and over. Oh, God! Arm! Caught him right under the arm. And Doyle Day with a big missile like drop kick. Spinning missile drop kick thingy. One, two, he kicks out. Oh, Cryptic Eagle was in there ready to make the save. That was up first, and that was up first. Literally, it's fair. You got a five count to get in and out of there. Double day. Oh, big elbow from Corey Castle. Go with misses. Oh, he was going for a famous sir, I believe. Um, the crowd. Pay attention. I just saw him fall on his butt. That's all. Mr. Oh, Drew Gulak in with a big headbutt in the Cryptic Keegan now in. Whips him off. Reversal. Oh, just pulls the hair. Tugs the hair right down. That's not legal, but it's definitely effective. And now he's giving, oh, big boot to the kisser. And uh, big leapfrog and big arm drag. And another, oh no, a roll up. Cover one, two, and he kicked out. You gotta wonder what was going through Crypto Keegan's mind when he was subject to that two. Wait a minute, one, two, he kicks out again. He, he's definitely got the skills in order to kick out, because I mean, who, could, who else could take something like that? And look. Oh, that was an aggressive tag. Aggressive tag to Mr. Rick Feinberg, the big mammoth of the team. But goes right after Mr. Joe Gacy now in. Oh, Joe Gacy knocks him down with a shoulder tackle. Apparently not the mammoth. Blocks it. Hip toss of his own. Boom, boom, boom. He gave it. Whoa. And he should, he's going to come back in. He goes for it. I didn't think so. Well, Rick Feinberg's looking uh, looking better these days. He's losing a little bit of weight, maybe getting some more agility so he can fit in better with Mr. Team New Era. Tagging him back to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Tagging him back, uh, Corey Castle. Now just pounding down Mr. Joe Gacy. Apparently, Joe Gacy he showed me a little bit here today. But the fact that 
Rick Farmer took him out with a shoulder tackle. That just shows me the inexperience of Mr. Joe Gacy. Apparently he's not a very experienced some bitch down here in WPW. And now tagging in Cryptic. Cryptic Keegan, he's one that will take it right to you. And he doesn't care about the rules. He doesn't care about nothing. He's the he's the a-hole of the team. Look at this, choking him right on right on the ropes there. Well, you see Corey Casper over there driving referee. Look at Roxy. Roxy's getting herself in there now. Uh, Cryptic Keegan now whips him off the ropes. Boom! Oh, he kicked him right in the face with a spinning toe kick type thing. Covers one, two, no! You gotta watch for teeth when he's knocking that hand down. He might hit some teeth on his hand. That's right. Cryptic, oh! I believe that was to the leg. Oh, follows through with a big Jeff Hardy style leg drop. One, two, kicks out. Joe Gacy kicks out once again. I can't believe it. He ducked it. Rick Berger. Oh, that was an impressive move by Joe Gacy. And it was kind of almost his last hope when it came to get a move. Now, everybody's stopping their foot. It's almost like a Greek week over here. Oh, Cryptic Keegan tags in Rick Feinberg, and Feinberg really quickly goes to Joe Gacy and prevents him from making that tag. Big suplex gets the big man up. Yes! Big suplex. To heck with your back, he said. To heck with your back. Oh, and he knocks, he knocks Drew Gulak off the apron. I saw that. And now he's just, what is he doing? Getting the big man in a position and drops a big leg. He's got a cover. Referee was busy over there trying to keep Drew Gulak from entering this match. Oh, Joe Gacy trying to fire back now. Joe Gacy with those big haymakers punches to, to Rick Feinberg's face. It's a real big, big boot. Oh my God, big sexy big boot. Did I hear the emotion in, in Joe Gacy as he went for that, that, that running thing? Yes, I heard the emotion, him screaming. Now Feinberg just toying with him. Now just beating his head, kicking him. Comes up with a big body slam. What's he going for here? What's he going for here? Feinberg kicks him, drops a big elbow, Christ, right across the chest. His whole weight dropping down on Mr. Joe Gacy. I have to say, you have to look at it this way. When it comes to new guys coming into WPW, you never know when you might see the next big star in WPW. These guys are young. Joe Gacy's young. Drew Gulak is young. Doyle Day. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One. Two, roller hook. Oh. oh, he fell on his leg there or something. Something happened. Joe Gacy almost got Rick Feinberg with a sunset flip. Joe Gacy trying to make that tag. Doesn't want the tag yet. Oh, wait, he's going to roll up Feinberg. Just, One, two, oh. Just a little. He's not going to let it happen. They're too close. A little too close to that TNA corner. Feinberg now yelling at the ref, saying he had a hair full of hair. Joe Gacy from behind. School boy. One, two. Feinberg ducks the clothesline. Go behind. Pulls him in. Oh my God! Northern Light Suplex. And he bridges with it. One, two. That was that was close. That was close to three. That was, a, that was a nice move by Rick Feinberg. Nails him. Nails him in the gut. Knocks him back to the corner. TNE now holding Joe Gacy. Oh, Feinberg coming in. Feinberg knocks down Cryptic Keegan and Corey Castle and takes a mean back clothesline style backbreaker to Rick Feinberg from Joe Casey. Now both men are down. Who's gonna make the tag first? Feinberg holding his back. Come on, Joe Casey. Come on, Rick Feinberg. Somebody make that tag. Feinberg tags Keegan, but oh my God. Joe Casey tags in Drew Gulak. Gulak with a clothesline and another one. And a third clothesline. Always oh, fired up now. I love clotheslines. I love them. Drew Gulak with a headlock. Wait a minute, Corey Castle in. Corey Castle slaps on the headlock. Wait a minute, Dorn Day in. Dorn Day slaps on the headlock. Wait a minute, Rick Feinberg in. Rick Feinberg slaps on the headlock. Wait a minute, Joe Casey in. He boots him in the gut. And the big DDT in. Oh my God. All six men are down. Oh my God. I can't handle this. I just hit my teeth on the microphone. I can't handle this. All six men are down. 
Now I gotta say that's car that's come that's some crazy brandon moaning right there. When it comes when it comes to Joe Gacy thinking the better and the smarts, he's young. How would he think that do a DDT on the guy and then have all six guys go down? Uh, did you ever see a guy get uh, give a DDT, one DDT and knock down five guys? I've never seen that happen before in my life. Do go like now with big, big mountain like chops and a boot to the stomach. What is this here? Oh, I've seen him do this before. I've seen him do this before. Big clothesline in the corner, throws him out of the corner, and a big clothesline to the back of his neck. I've seen him do that in in other leagues before, other other places. But wait a minute, now Drew Gulak getting on, getting on, Mr. Rick Feinberg. It looks like they're gonna go for a double team here, but Corey Castleman makes the save. Okay, the referee will try to get some order here, restore some order. Referee. You got six men in there. It's kind of hard to restore order when you got six guys fight for, for some kind of position. No, wait a second, Corey Castle up on the second rope. What is this? Look at this, some kind of submission by Rick Feinberg. What is going on here? He's got him up in some kind of cradle. Wait a minute. Oh, God, he stops on the head. Corey Castle is stopping on the head of Drew Gulak. Yes. Oh, my God. Joey O'Doyle Day coming in. Dumps out Rick Feinberg and a big flatliner. Flatliner to Mr. Corey Castle, one, two, no. Feinberg makes a save now. What's he gonna go and hit on day? He's got the advantage. Watch this. Oh, no big move. Some kind of Mitchu no go driver, but uh, Joe Gacy makes the save there. Kicking, kicking Rick Feinberg right in the back of the head. Oh God! Joe Gacy with a Joe Gacy with a with a back elbow into a back breaker. Figure that one out. One, two. Cryptic Kagan makes the save now. I've lost count. Who's legal? Who's legal and who's not legal? We got Cryptic King in there. I believe these are the two legal men, Cryptic King and Joe Gacy. Wait a second. He's got him up on that rope. He said, welcome to the new era. Boom, big DDT. Cover him, cover him, cover him. One, two, three. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? That's two victories. When KFC teams up with Cryptic King, and we've seen that twice now, haven't we? That's right. Back in February, February, well, at, at the new era show, we saw Cryptic King and team with KFC against, against uh, Drew Gulak. And, and the Himalayan players, and once again, Cryptic Keegan did that same move to Mr. Drew Gulak and got the win. That must have been Gulak's first scouting. He must have came in here and he said, I'm going to team with the biggest guys here first. And see what I can come up with this. That's right. So he teamed with two, two littler guys but who are quicker and can, can, can combat with the, with the quickness. Oh, Castle just said he's going for the tag team titles. By June, he said he's going for the tag team titles. I don't know what that means. I didn't know it means that Mr. KFC with Rick Feinberg and, and Corey Castle are going with the are going after the war gods in June and somebody's trying to get the fire.